Hey everybody, welcome back to some more early mutations. We're taking care of week 128. Um, it's got transmutation and blizzard. Oh, so exciting. So this week can be a little frustrating. Um, Stukov's got a decent defense, but the problem can be if he can't get his bunkers into location. And Zagara is going to really just be a kind of solo Zagara kind of mission this week. Because uh, Zagara... Although her units can be very helpful, they just explode. They're not best, best at defending. <clears throat> and I can get bio launchers, which can be helpful um, to get some you know, good AoE and stuff like that to hopefully help make this mission a little bit easier. Although it does not just guarantee a win here. Uh, every bio launchers will eventually die. No matter where you place them and how well you place them, if you spin them and all that stuff, it's still going to die. So. We have a little bit of an issue when um, it comes to that. So hopefully everything works out. Um, the other thing too is with the fact that you're not we're really going to be able to hold an expo on this mission because of the blizzards. Everything comes to your main and depending on if it's in a ground or air attack, um, I'm going to need to have defensive scourge or defensive bio launchers. So all those things kind of hurt us a little bit. So. Coupled with the fact that everything I want to do requires some form of gas, bio launchers, scourge, banelings, all that stuff, uh, thus kind of hurting my ability to actually get the economy I want. So if it is an air attack, I'm going to be most likely uh, going to be going for scourge. A little bit of uh, maybe bio launchers at home. If it's a ground attack, all of my free banelings should hopefully be enough to deal with everything we need to do. But that's not guaranteed. Nothing's guaranteed at the moment, so we'll see. I don't know... Yeah, we don't know what an enemy attack is. So there's always creep on this map. But if it's a ground attack, which we'll find out after we deal with the first ship, uh, then I can confidently say that I can just leave Bailings at home to deal with attack waves. Because most of them come to my base anyways. Again, not guaranteed, but most of them come to my base. Every once in a while come down here too, but he's getting this to get faster creep spread. It's, it's important for Stukov. Really? Oh, that was so annoying. Like, how dare you? Stupid Hercules, or Herc, I think is what they call him. <laughs> Basically jumped right in front of all my paintings I threw out. Just in time. There we go, as soon as that pops up. Here. I think what I'd like to do here as well is make sure that um, when we need to change positions, I have a frenzy for my partner's units.
It should be really good for us, I think. Looks like it's going to be a gateway comp. Ground, so. Save it for next time. I think I have the right energy regeneration on this one. We're just playing it kind of safe right now. Get my scourge nest started. It's going to start. Exact spot where they spawn, so hopefully we're good. Allies, we're in hot water. Extra. Bridge upgrade. Just leaving all my bailings at home for defense. Flies again. Real dust up. 
Seriously. <laughs> so annoying. We're finally charging. Mass frenzy is ready. Front. Like I said, at least it's a ground call. Makes it so I can just the defend my beings. Thank you. 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 I'd rather have them be sync not all at the same time, otherwise, they're just going to be wasting so many shots. Because I'm pretty sure the next one is either going to be over here or over here. And I both those places have um, units that need to be killed. Air units, that is. And I like the fact that these ones are down here because um, it's not in the it's not in an attack path of the enemy, which is really important actually. Because you can see over here when we lost that, um, a bunch of stuff turned into higher tier units. Save pretty much all my energy for the move. Can't attack the eradicators after they're back at the facility. Hurry up. Yeah, and I'd be using frenzy way more often than I am using it currently. so close. You just saved a lot of lives, Commanders. We owe you big. People on that ship are cheering for you. Hell, so am I. I guess we'll have to wait here. She out healed the blizzard. Can time that one's not gonna get there, is it?
to Oh my god, none of them made it over? Oh, that's so bad. And this is the bigger one to worry about over here, so that's why I'm mostly focusing with all of my um, people there. Help him or not? Tanks back. What are your commands? Without question. The enemy's going after your allies' base. The richest shall survive. I listen. The swarm hungers. I'm kind of scared to do my um drop here, to be honest. <laughs> Forces are moving towards our base. Frenzy is ready. I'm trying to watch over here. Don't really care what's happening over there. This is the last one, and that's all that matters. This is the last one. <laughs> Just been taking this super slow. I. I So we should be done real soon. Guess I can do this, I guess. Can't even use my banelings. All right, so we got 53 seconds. I think we're fine. Forty-two seconds. I can at least do this. 
Yeah, Zagara's stuck. <laughs> I can't do anything with Zagara. Won't even use any. Okay, we should be good. Go ahead and mass frenzy, because we can. <laughs> GG. We did it. It's so funny, like, this mission is normally super easy for Stukov, especially if we can get the bunkers into position, but the transmutation is doing a lot more work than it normally feels like it does. And plus, you gotta keep all of your, um, bested rally to the middle of your bunkers, otherwise you end up having this horrible thing where they just feed the enemy. Anyways, um, that was pretty decent for Cigar here. I wanted to get some bio launchers towards the ends there, but there was too much to go through all that. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'm Andre Fi. Make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Do hope you enjoyed.